It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, normally alongside my co-captain, Joe Bushy. Uh, he'll be uh, coming back with me Wednesday. We've got a killer show then as well. So we'll talk about that in a second, but I don't want to downplay today's show. We jam-pack it into 15 minutes. We call it 5.45 Live. Uh, let's see what we got on deck tonight. Get my fancy new coming up screen here, which will be in HD for those of you watching online, just in case you're interested. Coming up, a local lawyer suspended. Wrongful uh, eviction case involved there. Uh, Shumlin, he was on vacation. Uh, we've got some uh, good stuff from there. And a sad farewell for the stakeout. We'll talk about uh, that and more. And remember, we do it all in 15 minutes. So uh, if you can, if you've got the time, stick with us here on 545 Live. <laughs> For more than 130 years, lawyers have relied on the AV preeminent rating while searching for their own expert attorneys. Now you too can look to this important trusted rating when choosing an attorney. This attorney has achieved an AV preeminent rating from Martindale Hubble. Welcome back to this March 14th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden. Let's find out what that's footage of. That's footage uh, from the Martindale Hubble Legal Services Peer Review Ratings Group, awarding William McCarty their highest rank. The local lawyer, who ironically last week, despite this rank, had his license to practice revoked by the Vermont Professional Responsibility Board for wrong, wrongfully evicting a local woman. McCarty, whose penchant for misconduct dates back to the mid-80s, will have his license returned only if the board approves his application for reinstatement following his original six-month suspension. In documents filed earlier this month, the board was quoted as saying, and why should I just read it when I can put the quote up on the screen here, McCarty intentionally avoided the clearly required eviction procedures. We do not choose this sanction in any way as punishment, but instead as means of protecting the public. All right. That's that for that slate, uh, and we'll uh, jump back in here. Uh, with, uh, what are we going to next? I think we'll go to a little Shumlin. Hard to imagine a 545 Live without the governor. He's got an A-game media team, which might explain why we uh, put him on just about every show. However, he had the day off, so a little bit less news from him. Or uh, so you might think out there if looking at his uh, various media channels, but I've managed to make it into a killer news story. The governor got his uh, first day off in 18 days last Friday, but not... Uh, before doing a little Facebooking while the water was boiling for his pasta, he threw up this post. Got a uh, quote screen for that as well. My first day off in 18 days led me to the woods where ramps go wild, making pasta tonight. And you thought that wasn't a newsworthy story, but throw a little graphics together and, and you've got yourself a, a top headline. All right, moving on next. Despite a 2010 report that listed Vermont as the single safest U.S. state for pedestrians and cyclists, a recent, recent rash of high-profile pedestrian audio auto accidents has prompted town officials to take a closer look at the town's road and walkways. Over the weekend, representatives from the AARP joined with the town planning department and a contingent of concerned citizens to walk the foot traffic heavy streets of West Brattleboro and to discuss potential improvements. Now our 545 Live senior news correspondent, Teresa Maggio, was on the scene. Let's take a look. You could texture the, the surface driveway and make it look much more like a sidewalk so that the driver is much more conscious that they're crossing the sidewalk rather than than having the pedestrians think that they're going to have to stop for a street. This is a one-way traffic situation. Cars and buses only come this way. Yeah. How about get rid of the parking, keep it one way, and create a multi-use path? Moving on. Uh, train day was uh, this weekend. Uh, it was a, a, an event for kids and adults alike who gathered uh, down at the Amtrak station in Brattleboro by the museum to talk about the uh, effects of ramping up the local train scene would have on the economy. Get kids interested in trains and just talk about why they are so awesome. BCTV access coordinator Frederick Noyes was on the scene as well. Let's take a look. If we have two trains a day going through the state, I think it would be a huge economic boost for the state and 
and also uh, cut down on our carbon emissions, congestion, pollution, etc. So I'm um, as a member of the Transportation Committee, I have a strong interest in promoting rail. All right, next, next. Let's cue this teleprompter. Friday, the residents of the senior living facility Holton Home on Western Ave held a fundraiser reminiscent of their younger days, opening a lemonade stand to cater to thirsty motorists and community supporters, an endeavor that scored our hardworking intern Nolan Edgar a free glass when he went over to grab some video uh, and interviews for this fun little 545 Live special. I'm uh, particularly psyched with this clip that he got. The profits are going for the youth theater for their uh, scholarship fund. Scholarship fund. You do your thing, Mary. Sell that lemonade. This is the first day that we've been open. You know, spring has just come. I think we hope. <laughs> All right, moving on, uh, do a little traffic weather updates here um, as we uh, try and move through uh, the rest of this here Monday show. Uh, let's take a look now at uh, what the high school BUHS TV has to say about this not so terrific weather. All right, well, today you got yourself uh, some rainy clouds. It's not looking too good. It's got a high 68, low 58, you know, whatever. Um, tomorrow. You also got some thunderstorms, possibly. I don't really know, but uh, high 64, low 56, so it should be great. Have a good one. Back to the desk. And with that, uh, we'll jump into uh, looking uh, ahead to the weekend a little. Uh, but first, Wednesday, we're going to talk about uh, the tragedy with the stakeout. Um, that's what I'm, I'm calling it, based on my enjoyment of their salad bar. Uh, very serious hit to an already uh, rough downtown economy. Um, Frederick Noyes was there the last day they were open to get some footage. We're going to do a little mini special on that on Wednesday. We'll be back to this here channel, Channel 8, uh, 5.45 p.m. Uh, this uh, 48 hours from now, so check that out. And uh, we'll try and get you the best that we can there. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks to everybody out there that makes 545 Live so special. Our content spe specialists, Paige Martin, Ian Keel, Maria Dominguez, uh, our hardworking intern, Nolan Edgar, who wrapped up his final day of his Leland and Gray uh, community co-op program. We're sure going to miss him, and uh, I think production values, especially on our script, are going to go down a little in uh, the wake of his absence. Thanks to everybody else out there who enjoys 545 Live, watches it online. A reminder, if you are one of those people who's not catching it live but watching this on YouTube right now, or on BCTV's Video On Demand. Make sure you check it out in HD on YouTube. There's a little thing in the bottom down there, a little gear wheel. You'll find 720p and 1080p are the two HD choices. And of course, uh, if you're watching this off of BCTV's Facebook page or website, we've got two links, uh, depending on how your internet connection likes fast things. Uh, try and watch us in HD because we've just upgraded BCTV's studio and you'll be amazed at the detail. Maybe a little bit too much detail as you look at uh, our drywalls behind us. Uh, of course, uh, every blemish on my face, it's uh, all on display here in our new studio. All right, that's enough chit-chat for me. Uh, time to let you go. You got an extra six minutes and 20 seconds here uh, before the nightly news. Maybe a chance to drift into the kitchen, make yourself some toast and jam before you head on over to Brian Williams. Uh, but again, we'll be back Wednesday. I'd sure appreciate your company then. In the meantime, for BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden. And I'll just say what I often say uh, right around this time every week. And that's uh, night, everybody. I want you to have some lemonade. Can you taste it? <laughs> I'm 84. Okay. I'm 85. Yeah, I like <laughs> why, you, why you guys sell lemonade? I'm 85. Yeah, where is it? <laughs>